Hey there viewers and we are going to be doing a brand new challenge which is going to be a weekly project and this is going to be looking at apps on product hunt ones that are trending or ones that I feel that are useful and I thought this one in particular called validated ideas by Shiva is a really interesting one so we're going to start from the logo and then to the website and then mobile responsive so yeah it's going to be a fun one and let's get into the challenge okay and before we get into the challenge I'd highly encourage you to keep practicing every day especially if you're a beginner or someone that wants to improve their design and if you do find the content useful please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell and let's get into the challenge okay so we are into the challenge and straight away I'm just checking out their page uh, which is really really uh, really really interesting because problems with startups is how do you know that the idea is worth pursuing or how do you know that people want it one way is to well test it on product hunt and see if it gets any upvotes this one is number one product of the day and I looked at them and I thought wow it's interesting but I did some sketches very simple sketches <laughs> on the notepad and this is this is just a fun logo exploration and how I go about it um, well this is one way of going about logos and you're probably familiar with the style of keeping it simple minimal especially for startups um, so I, I'm trying to restrict myself to one hour or under one hour and I'm just looking at ways to see if I can combine the letters VI uh, which is the initials of of the uh, product and this font is um, Atkinson and is a really legible it's a legible font and I felt it's quite fresh and modern um, so I thought yeah let's let's try and have a go with this one and I'm just playing around with the shapes of the letters so I cut them out and I'm seeing can I can I just use the shapes to make other shapes and probably what you've seen at the beginning is not actually the end result because uh, when you go away you come back you actually spot something else that that could improve the logo that's the nice thing about going away and coming back so anyway here I'm just putting it I'm starting with black and white uh, seeing it how it can work and I'm just using the pen tool to um, or the line tool just to see the rotation on this font trying to match it up um, and just see for, for example that simple white silhouette there on the line I'm trying to aim for a tick as well it might not be super clear right now the tick is like for validation um, uh, and the monogram which is combining two letters into one hopefully I've got that definition correct so that's something I'm aiming for and here I'm trying to get the the I into the V just playing around really um, and this is all very loose uh, at the moment and I'm thinking okay if I can make the shape the same angles is that gonna work um, and then put the dot on top the only thing about that it might imbalance it um, uh, or maybe not it might work you know so again it's just trying out lots of different things this is all in Figma but of course you can use Adobe XD uh, or Illustrator is a popular one um, and here I'm just creating it from scratch now so I decided to have a line and then I made it with a stroke of 30 pixels in the center and I'm applying the the same um, the same rotation of the font and now I'm just uh, making a V uh, and then combining it and now I'm just grabbing the circle seeing if it could actually fit within that frame so now it's a better balanced um, if it's kept within that shape rather than outside but it might not be as balanced because of the because of the, the dots so this is this will obviously take a lot of 
um, refining so but again here I'm, I'm exploring and practicing uh, so here again I'm just thinking okay is that clear enough the V and the I what if I move this line to the left again looking at the sketches I've done which are very rough um, can I can I, I maintain that same stroke width um, so it's you're not just randomly placing it somewhere you I'm trying to use the stroke width to determine where I can place that white line and now you can see that tick silhouette it might not be super clear um, but I thought yeah that that could work uh, so now I'm just playing around and again it's always good to test it in reverse or inverse so black background with white And we are looking at the size so again a really nice test to do is to see if the logo works or the logo mark see if it works in smaller sizes so I'm testing it in um, 98 pixels or 96 pixels this is very important to test which is another thing about logos is keeping it really simple the more detail you add the more things you add like two colors gradients and all that stuff it's going to make it less recognizable when it's on a smaller uh, smaller size not always the case but again we're trying to just stress test or just see how it will look in smaller sizes uh, this is definitely something you should practice um, because you're going to have things like favicons and um, you know social media icons and things like that it's going to be really small so can it work and in here I thought yeah let's stick to the let's stick to the square style for the for the dot rather than a circle and I thought that's more consistent shape and I was quite happy with with this outcome uh, and then I thought can I make the tick um, and then I use that shape to then get this cut out and you probably see from the first screen that it's not the same <laughs> but see if you can spot the difference in what I did so this is coming to the end of this challenge and thanks again for watching um, and then tomorrow is going to be the landing page uh, see how that goes but yeah I thought this is a nice exercise because essentially if you are designing a website the logo is, is something you can start from and it, it plays a very important role in order to make content and uh, if you have a blog and uh, it does really it really helps with creating content um, but anyway here again I'm just testing it in app icons using using some of the resources from Figma community which is really good it's just really quickly testing it in the different sizes you know it's very rough um, it's not precise but I'm just looking at it and saying does it work in these app icons um, and it does it's, it seems pretty clear again that's why having a solid color works um, so yeah I hope you enjoyed the episode leave a like uh, leave a comment subscribe any feedback uh, any uh, yeah any feedback just let me know and I'm asking quite a few of the people that comment are you a beginner designer developer just to just so I know um, and it and it will help me decide on content so yeah have a good one take care bye